do, 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 do. intro music hey guys welcome back to another video today we will be reviewing the 2020 LibTech pickup stick let's get into it okay guys so this here is the 76 this board comes in four different sizes there's the 8 foot the 76 the 7 foot and the 66 so we were debating whether to get a 76 or a 7 foot because um the 8 foot was just going to be a little too long we wanted a more playful board that we could like turn better and the 66 well we already have one of those so there's between the 7 foot and this board the 76 so we we're like thinking the seven foot would be okay, but it'd be a little more tricky, um, we thought, to catch waves because obviously it's a little shorter. And we surf more like smaller waves, like three to four foot waves. But um, anyway, yeah, so we went with the seven six. And man, this board is awesome. Um, so yeah, there are three different color options. Um, there's the blue graphic as you can see right here the blue graphic um there's like a gray one with gray sides kind of on the sides which i think helps with like dents so if you jam your heel down back there it will like kind of block it from dents and then um there's the white one okay let's talk about getting this board so we first heard about this when we got an email um, that said they got some new boards in. And yeah, we were interested because we were looking at getting the, the Channel Islands Water Hog because that board is a lot like this one. And so we, it was a hard debate between them, but um, yeah, we went back and forth just thinking Hmm, what one has like better quality, what one would be the best, and also price-wise, this one is like a hundred dollars cheaper, I think. Um, and yeah, so we went with this one because it has amazing quality. Um, yeah. So, we were checking the websites, looking all over for this board, couldn't find it anywhere because it was all sold out. So, um... We called in Evo up in Portland, and um, they just got in a shipment the day before. So um, we called them in, we ordered this board, and we drive up there, and right when we show up, um, our board's at the front with our fins we ordered, everything's there already. Um, they're really good about the virus there and social distancing. Um, they offered us hand sanitizer at the front, um, so yeah, we walked in, and, um, man, that store was awesome. Um, so yeah, we walked in, we got our bins and board, um, we went upstairs, and all we needed to get was just a leash and some wax, and actually this wax we have on it right now is the sticky bumps. Um, so yeah, the leash we went with, um, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's neon orange, um, yeah, we kind of have a whole on neon pattern, green fins, blue here in the neon leash. So it's the John John Florence, the kind John John Florence signature leash. Um, it's the eight foot leash, because we were thinking, you know, we might be walking up to the front of this board, and yeah. So that leash is really amazing. We were actually really confused on how to put it on because it has like this weird thing where you have to pull it to um, get the Velcro undone. So you know, if you guys ever get a leash like that and you're a little confused, you just need to like pull that tab thing down at the very end. Um, so this board, um, when we were up there, they had the 7.6 there, they had the 8 foot, um, the 6.6, six and the 7 foot, obviously we took the 7.6, but um, yeah, they had all those boards up there, I'm pretty sure by now they're all gone, 
but man, that store, it had awesome mountain bikes there, it had all the snowboard gear, some outdoor gear, huge selection of snowboard boots, it just had everything there, it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so big shout out to Evo up in Portland, you guys are really awesome. Okay guys, if there are any Ben Gravy fans out there, LibTech's claim for this board is dang difficult to do. And so far this board, it doesn't have a single scratch on it. I mean we take pretty good care of our boards, our quiver of boards, but yeah, this board, dang difficult to ding. Ben Gravy, shout out to you. Um, but anyway, I guess let's talk about the fins. So we got the Libtech Rips large fins. These ones are green. I'm pretty sure that the there's like red fins that are the mediums, and then the um, smalls might be white fins. I'm not sure, but. They have that same kind of hexagon or hexylon fiber foam kind of skin stuff in it. But yeah, that's what this hexagon stuff is called. Um, but yeah, so um, this board, um, the 7.6, is 22 inches wide, um, 2.75 inches thick, and um 52.9 centiliters or volume um so yeah this board you can glide out in the water on this thing like you can paddle so fast pretty much every wave you paddle for you can catch like when we were out there in the lineup man um everybody was like how are you guys catching so many waves oh my gosh you guys are crazy you gonna save any for us <laughs> um but yeah um this board is super awesome you can catch a ton of waves with it um i guess let's talk about the inside so the inside has a uh, like a what's it called the close cell yeah i have it on here it's like Closed, closed cell nitrogen cell foam. Basically, if you hit your board, ding it, or like break off the outside shell of it, um, you'll be fine to keep surfing. Um, but obviously, you want to patch it up. But like, it's so water won't get in it. And yeah. So. Um, okay, so, <laughs> um, the part you guys have all been waiting for, the bottom of it, obviously. So, the bottom of this board, I don't know if you guys can really see it here. Um, well, anyway, I don't think you guys will be able to see it, but... It has a single concave at the front, and then towards the tail end, it goes to a dual concave. So, yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. You guys can run, like, tons of fin setups on this board. Like, right now we have a tri-fin setup. But you could run like a five fin, quad fin, twin fin, even single fin. But um, yeah, here, let me show you guys. So this is the RIPS package, LibTech RIPS. Um, these are the large, yeah, super, they're super easy to put in, like crazy easy, it takes like one or two minutes even though you have to use a key super easy but um 
Yeah. It stands out a lot when you're out there in the water. Like, it's pretty easy. Like, if there are people out there that know what they're doing, they'll definitely be like, hey, is that a loop type board I see over there? Yeah, so, at least when we were out there, we got lots of talk about it. Like, lots of people. But, um, to the next page. Um, so, yeah, we have a sticky bumps. We use sticky bumps, um, wax. And I like to call it the, um, pineapple wax job. Because as you can see, it kind of looks like a pineapple. You can really see it on the blue. But yeah, so basically, what we do when we wax our boards is um, we'll like start at the nose and we'll take a base layer and we'll just do hard um, diagonal lines one way, then to the tail, then go back to the very tip of the nose, but go the other way like that and it makes kind of a cool design pineapple layer. So, you know, if you want a board to look cool. You know so um so yeah we just do that then we take some cool sticky bumps wax and we just do big circles around it till you start to get some humps um but yeah so this is a pretty cool wax job signature pineapple wax job but yeah so this board is really easy to maneuver and like as you're paddling out, you'll be paddling and then you'll notice one, that you're going super fast, you're just gliding across the water and two, that um, it makes kind of this weird sound in the front, like this unique sound where it's like this little air pocket and the water's slapping it. Um, but obviously it's nothing to worry about, it's just the single concave up there. But yeah, it's a pretty cool sound, honestly. It sounds a lot like a boat when it hits the water, how it goes. But yeah, so, um, I don't know. I guess that's all the important stuff. Let me check. Oh yeah, um, this thing turns amazing, like, super good like when you're dropping in the waves it's just whoosh, like crazy good um obviously it's really tough and environmentally friendly so some of this stuff is like recycled kind of cool stuff but yeah um obviously heard the claim Dang difficult to ding. You know what I'm saying? Bang gravy for the blues. Nub Nation for the win. Um, it has a aluminum pen for the leash. Um, yeah, I'll try to show you guys. It's like a purpley cool. Okay. I'll just add in a little picture. Oh, okay. So, yeah, just a little recap four sizes, eight foot. 7'6", seven, 7'0", seven and the 6'6". Six, six. Um, three different colors, the blue graphic back here, um, the gray kind of on the sides, and then the white which kind of matches the board. So um, yeah, just added an amazing new board to our quiver, so this will be awesome. Guys, make sure to like and subscribe.
shout out to Noah Tom for being my 11 subscriber, not to flex or anything. 11 subscribers. Yeah. Noah! Oh, and if you guys have any questions, I will make sure to turn on the comments, Noah, for you guys to comment. Yeah. P.S. Lip Deck, you should sponsor me.